Hello and welcome to Show and Tell with me, Stephen Leslie, the series where I show you some photos and then tell you about them, which has led me to call this series Show and Tell in a rather self-explanatory fashion. Uh, this is episode 17. It's going to be a very, very quick episode and uh, we can't really start this episode without referring back to the uh, events of the weekend just gone which saw crowds of hysterical jubilant people lining the streets of London shouting screaming in celebration and it could be for only one thing uh, yeah that's right uh, the Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign for my new book Mostly False Reports um, hit its target uh, in record time in, in just two weeks the entire thing is fully funded so thank you so much to everyone who might have chipped in and helped out with that now because of the way that Kickstarter works. Um, the campaign stays live, keeps going for nearly another two weeks until uh, Friday, May the 21st. So if you want to get a copy of the book um, without any risk, because it's definitely going to happen, uh, now is your chance. So uh, I'll put a link down below. You can go and get a copy there and there's also some great rewards to be had. Um, so that's that. Um, let's do the title thingy and then we'll look at some photos. <laughs> So a few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to pick up a copy of this book, which is Louis Fora by Anne Wilkes Tucker. Um, now, regular viewers uh, of this uh, channel will know that I am a real Louis Fora fan. And uh, he was the subject of my very first film in Show and Tell, where um, I talked about bald men in photography. And I used uh, Fora's fantastic comb over uh, photograph to go into a right rant about slap heads in street photography. Uh, so go back and have a look at that now if you haven't already seen it. Now, uh, the only other book, which is the book that I used to have, uh, I still do have, um, is this one, which is a Schneidel book from 2016. And can you see the difference between these two editions? Um, they're both very good reproductions, but uh, one of them, this one, is way, way bigger than this one. And while size doesn't matter in everything, um, in photography and particularly in looking at photographs, um, I think it does matter. I think uh, to look at a photograph big is to really appreciate it properly. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take a look at one of Louis Fora's uh, most famous photographs um, and look at it in a closer detail because that's something that I got to do once I got this new volume. So this is one of Fora's most memorable images and it's a photograph called Accident and it was taken in New York City in 1951 at the junction of Lexington and 52nd Street. So this photo is a double exposure which is a fact that I knew but I also think it was the reason that for so long I've been misreading this image. I thought that the photograph's title Accident was a reference to the fact that it was an accident but a photographic one. By running the film through the camera twice, Fora combined two otherwise unconnected images. There's this one here of the shivering boy, and then this one over here of what looks like a wedding party. But it turns out that I'm mistaken. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to try and explain what that is. The title accident is actually referring to a different type of collision. Yes, what we're looking at is the mashing together of two separate images, but it also refers to an actual physical accident, what I presume was a car accident. You can see a concerned crowd hovering in the background here. But the thing that tells us more is a detail I never really appreciated until I got that bigger book with its bigger print. Look on the floor here. There's a chalk outline that marks where a body has recently been lying. You can see what is presumably a blood stain and now I can read it properly. Up here it says head. This is where the body's head would have been. This kind of crude, almost tombstone-like shape can also be seen in an earlier Ouija photo. Ouija, as we discovered back in my Bad Luck film, spent a large chunk of his career photographing accidents and crime scenes. But did he ever take a photo that is as weird and confusing as this one by Fora? It's difficult to say. The combination of the shivering, possibly traumatised kid with the bloody stain and the body outline, and then moving into a wedding party over here, invest this photograph with a truly unique and unnatural set of features and emotions. And not only that, 
But to my mind at least, this photograph becomes even more powerful once you discover that Fora himself was hit by a car in 1984, a serious accident from which he never fully recovered. This fact transforms this photograph called accident into a kind of premonition. Fora is already bringing together different times and different events by his use of double exposure. But now, whenever I look at this image, I can't help but think he was somehow predicting his own fate. Also, on a slightly more practical level, um, this whole episode is just a great reminder to stop and take a closer look at your favourite photographs again. Um, it's so easy now to look at hundreds of photographs in a very short amount of time just by swiping on our phones, but this isn't how they're meant to be seen. This is not the size you should be looking at Louis Fora's accident. It's, it's just tiny. What you should be doing is you should be going to a, uh, a volume like this and looking at it in proper full size. Look, look. That's, well, no, where is it? Here we go. That's how you should see it. Not like that. It's far, far better and far more detail and you'll discover more about the photograph if you look at it like this than if you will look at it like this. Um, so that's my main message, uh, my main takeaway for today is go and look at your photographs or famous photographs or photographs you love uh, at the whopping great size, not just on your phone. Um, my name's Stephen Leslie and this has been Show and Tell. Once again, thank you so much to everyone who's um, supported my Kickstarter. Um, I'll put the link down below. You can still go and get yourself a copy if you want. Um, and I'll be back soon with another longer look at some fantastic photographs. Um, and there's also 16 more films that you can go back and take a closer look at uh, if you go and have a rummage around in my channel. Uh, that's that. Thank you all for watching and see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.